Welcome to this tutorial by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create an RSS icon in Illustrator. So to start off, uh, go over and grab your rounded rectangle tool and just click in the middle. We're going to make it 200 pixels by 200 pixels with a corner radius of 36 pixels. So just click OK and then I'll just position this here in the center. Now what we're going to do is add gradient. So select your rounded rectangle, click on the gradient and now we're going to, let's add a uh, a third point in the middle, put that at 50%, and select some colors here for it. We're going to select on the left kind of a darker orange here, and we can just drag that down to uh, this right one too, except I think it needs to be a little bit darker, like more of an orange and less, uh, that's a little too dark. I don't know, that seems okay. Let's just drag that. It didn't really change it too much. Um, and then for the center point, we're going to select a light orange. You know, this is really orange, so let's, well, let's just grab something like, uh, like that for both of these points. All right, so now what we're going to do is change the angle of this so that the, uh, the light part in the middle is going down this uh, diagonal. So we're going to put in negative 45 for the angle, for the degree. And now what we're going to do is just uh, duplicate this layer, lock the first layer, put the duplicated layer on the bottom, select it, hold shift and alt, and we're going to size it out a little bit, enough for like a border. So, so that'll, that'll be about right, right there. So basically what we see is that it's just extended the, uh, the gradient. You can't really see a difference until, uh, first of all, we're going to change, well, we're going to select it, and we're going to change the angle to 45, so it's the exact opposite. So now the light color is over here contrasting with the darker color. So uh, I'm just going to click on this and then drag these in a little bit so that there's less uh, light color. And I'm actually going to choose this and then uh, darken it up a little bit so they're not as uh, drastic uh, conflicting colors there. So now we have a basic uh, background here. So now we need to uh, make the actual icon or the actual uh, text part. Or not text, but the, the little radio looking symbol that you see. So just create a new layer and put that layer on top. And this one is going to house the uh, RSS icon. So we need to close uh, or just lock this uh, other layer so we don't accidentally mess it up. And we need to grab our ellipse tool. Now we're going to select um, no fill and we want a, a stroke of black. And let's just make it like uh, 25 point for that stroke. So we're just going to drag out a circle here, something that looks about right. Now, this is uh, this is what we want here. And you might be like, well, that doesn't make sense, but this is what we want. So we're going to, let's just drag this over here to the white. We're going to select it, select it, and then drag your direct, uh, direct selection tool. And we're going to select these two points right here. This one first, hit delete, and then this one, and hit delete. So now we have just the half circle. So now we can take this and do control C and then control F and it'll paste it right on top. And now what we're going to do is uh, position it kind of where we think it'll work and then just size it down. And this is nice because it doesn't actually size the entire thing down, it just kind of sizes down the proportion. So uh, Actually, let's, let's drag this down a little further. Let's drag this to like right about here and make sure that this lines up with here a little bit not, not a little bit it needs to line up with that and this part needs to line up with that i mean if you have it really close then there's really no way for people to tell so we're actually going to size these up right now because it'll make it easier when we size those up it actually uh it doesn't make them fatter it just uh makes the circle uh, bigger circle, the circle that we deleted, so it's kind of hard to see, but that's what it's doing. So we're just going to position this where we kind of want it to go, and then we're going to make our circle. 
So we need to change this around. This needs to be black and this needs to be nothing. So it's the exact opposite here. Actually, let's make it white because that's what we're gonna make our symbol in the end here. And we're going to hold shift and uh, rule of thumb here, this circle needs to be about the width or the thickness of your line for it to look appropriate. So we're just gonna drag that inside of here. And this needs to be inside of that. Now, as you can see, this is going to need to be, first of all, let's make this white so we don't have to do that later. And this is awfully close to the ball, so we're gonna make that a little bit bigger here and reposition that, make it a little smaller. And you just kind of have to play around with this until you get it about right. And now you can see the RSS symbol is looking pretty awesome. So we're just going to drag that to wherever you want it. And bam, there you go. So we're just going to select it all. And we're actually going to add a little bit of a shadow to it now. So we're going to go to effect and stylize. And let's go to outer glow. And click preview. And let's see, let's put it on normal. That looks pretty good, so let's click OK. So you can see how that looks. And let's actually lock this layer, go to our bottom layer here, and make sure you select it. And we're gonna go to uh, Effect and Stylize and Drop Shadow. So you're just gonna drag this in here, make sure you click Preview. You can see the uh, shadow has already taken the uh, effect here. We have 50% uh, opacity, it's on multiply. The offset is uh, 3 for X and 4 for Y. Blur 5, color black. And I think that looks pretty good. So now you can lock this and if you want to make any changes to this, if you want to change the color or something or you just uh, need to reposition something, unlock it. But otherwise you can't really screw it up once these are locked. So as you can see, we have a pretty good RSS icon here. You can uh, size this to uh, web size or billboard size, depending on what you want, considering this is Illustrator and we are working with vectors. Um, so I hope you like this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.